Hello, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here, and I wanted to make a short video on this new modifier in Blender 2.93 Alpha, the Line Art Modifier. So this is my scene with Suzanne, and I'm going to test the two different ways to get the Line Art Modifier. The first way I'm gonna do is the fastest. So if you click Shift A, Grease Pencil, and go down, you see those two options, scene line art and collection line art. I'm gonna click collection to match my mesh collection. I have all of my um, scene in the mesh collection, so I'm gonna click that. And once you click that, Blender automatically adds the line art. So now my whole scene is outlined with the grease pencil. You can see on the right, those are the different options you can play around with. So let me turn this off so you can see. That's so cool. And I forgot to mention I animated Suzanne on the Z axis just to see what it looked like, to see what the line art modifier looked like with the animation. Again, playing around with the settings. Let me see, crease, okay. And again, it depends on where your camera angle is at and facing. I'm sure if like my camera was kind of, you know, to the right of the scene, that would affect the crease or the different options provided. So if you scroll down, you can go down to baking. So pretend I, I want the mesh to go away and I just want the grease pencil object. I'm going to bake it by selecting bake line art and bake line art all means if I had multiple, I guess maybe collections, for example, I had multiple scenes that I wanted and I just wanted it to bake all of it, but I just have one. Finish baking. So for me to be able to see just the grease pencil line art. I'm going to have to go unselect my um, mesh. And if you play that, it's just the grease pencil object. That's so cool. So this is the fast way to, I'm gonna turn off my line so you can see, but this is the quicker way to add the line art, of, the line art modifier. Now I'm going to delete this and show you the second way to add the line art modifier. Also going to change my scene from solid, which it currently is, into rendered. Okay, the second way to add it is shift a grease pencil. You're going to add a grease pencil and make sure it's not in my mesh collection. I did it a couple times and the effect did not work. So make sure that the grease pencil is outside of either your scene, your collection, etc. So I'm going to add a new layer. I'm just going to change the name of my art. And it's, it's important that you, um, you do this for the data object in the material properties tabs. Okay, once you make sure that these two tabs are filled out, you can go to your modifier, modifier, generate line art. So this is the same, if you remember the same settings that you can adjust that we did in the first option. So, and you can see these are the different options, collection, object, scene. So pretend I just wanted like a uh, Suzanne to have the line art effect, you can do that. But I want my whole mesh collection. And then right there, if you see previously, line art, and then click on that, the third, then the test line art. And then as you can see, it will make the same line art effect that we did previously on the faster method. And I wanted to experiment to see if there's gonna be any differences with this scene, the rendered scene. If I tried to do what I did previously by baking the line art. And again, when it's finished baking, I'm gonna turn off my collection, my mesh collection. And as you can see, it's exactly the same. My uh, line art is exactly the same in this method as it was in the first method. Well, that was all I had for the new line art modifier and Blender 2.93 Alpha. I hope you, I hope you learned <laughs> more about it and the two different methods as of now you can to create this effect. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.